What you watch? What's up, guys? What you watch? We're back with another episode. What you watch? So Nick, turn on your TV screen. Hi, everybody. Today, we are going to be making some juicy and delicious barbecue pulled pork. I'm going to show you how easy it is to make delicious pulled pork in your slow cooker. We have a seven pound pork shoulder, which is the Boston butt. And we're gonna, this is what we're gonna be using for our pulled pork today. My daughter got this from Food Lion. She wanted some pulled pork and so she went and got it. I'm gonna wash this up and then I'm gonna get it ready to season. These are the ingredients that we're gonna use for our rub that we're gonna be seasoning our Boston butt with. We have onion powder, garlic powder, smoked paprika, if you don't like smoked paprika, um, you can omit that and just use regular paprika. But the, because we're barbecuing and the smoked paprika is has a smoky flavor, so we're going to add that in today. So we have some celery salt. We have some oregano. Oregano is like so versatile, y'all. You can use oregano in so many things. It's really good. We have some ground cumin, some black pepper and some salt so i'm gonna use these items to make a rub the rub that we're going to be adding on to the boston but i'm also going to use some brown sugar and this is what we're going to be rubbing up our boston butt with i'm also going to be using a medium onion and some minced garlic i try to use stuff for this uh rub today that we a lot of people should have or probably have in their cabinet I didn't try to use anything extravagant um, most of this stuff people usually have maybe not cumin but other than the cumin we usually have a lot of people usually have that so that's why I'm using this stuff but this is make it does make a really good rub and you can use it for your Boston butt you can also use it for baked chicken you know any other items that you want to use or that you'll be barbecuing this is gonna be really good for that we're also going to be using some chicken broth today. I don't have a carton of chicken broth, so I'm going to be using this Better Than Bouillon today. So with the Better Than Bouillon, you use one teaspoon per eight ounces of water. So that's what I'm going to be using today. Or if you don't have that, you can also use chicken bouillon cubes. Put a cup of water in and put one cube in, but I prefer to use chicken broth. So that's what I'm going to use today. I'm also going to be using some yellow mustard and Worcestershire sauce. <laughs> We're going to be using this. I'm going to mix this together. We're going to put this on our Boston butt before we put the rub on. And I wanted a fun fact. Did you know that Worcestershire sauce actually contains anchovies? Yeah, it's, it contains anchovies, molasses. Read the back of your bottle, y'all. Anchovies. Mm-hmm. <laughs> But anyway, let me get the rest of the stuff together. I just want to show y'all what I have in the background. You might have saw some. This was my tomatoes. My husband has a garden outside, and so he put brought the tomatoes in, and we put them under the window so that they can finish ripening. Because if we don't, then the bugs will help us eat them, or they'll get to them sometimes before they get fully ripe on the vine so you can see one started getting it at the nail the bugs that start getting them so to prevent that and bring them in when they were green and then they ripen but look at this how the that one both of these were green but this one is still green and that one is has already started turning anyway let's get back to this delicious pulled pork i have chopped my onion and now i'm getting ready to add it into the slow cooker and I'm going to go ahead and add my minced garlic into the bottom. I have put my minced garlic and my chopped onions in the bottom of the slow cooker and I'm going to get my meat ready to put it on top. Now y'all know I say slow cooker and crock pot but technically it's a slow cooker because crock pot is a brand but we all do it. I guess we all do it. Anyway sometimes I call it crock pot and 
sometimes I call it slow cooker. It's actually a slow cooker because this is not a crock pot bread. This is Hamilton Beach, but I call it a crock pot. I'm talking about the same thing. Just wanted y'all to know. I'll be I have my Worcestershire sauce and my mustard mixed together ready. I have my seasoning roll mixed together and ready. And I have my Boston butt that I have washed and patted dry ready. I will have all of the ingredients and the amounts that I use listed in the description box. I'm going to take my Worcestershire sauce and mustard mixture and I'm going to pour this on the roast. This roast does have a bone in it. I'm going to cook it with the bone and with this fat cap on. Fat equals flavor. I will remove the bone after it's done and we'll be removing the fat. I'm just rubbing this all up. Also guys, if you, like I said, you can use this seasoning for barbecue chicken, you know, or any other thing that you're barbecuing. If you want to take this the delicious looking roast and put it in the oven, you can also put this in the oven. So I'm going to go ahead and rub all of this. Any nooks and crannies that I can get in, I'm going to rub it in them. finished seasoning the Boston butt and now I'm gonna add it to the crock pot. This is a big pork shoulder Boston butt. This is how my better than bouillon looked after I added it to some hot tap water and stirred it. Now I'm getting ready to add it into the slow cooker with the Boston butt. I'm pouring my broth in from the side because I don't want to mess with the seasons that I have on top of my Boston butt. You also can put your broth in first and then just sit the Boston butt on top of the broth if you'd like to do it that way. This is all of the chicken broth that I'm gonna add. To the Boston blood. I don't want it fully submerged under the chicken broth. This is all I'm going to add. Now I'm going to turn my slow cooker on for six hours. I ended up cooking this Boston butt for about five hours on high. Okay, so I took the lid off and look at that. It's already ready. Oh, look at it. Wait, wait, wait. Can you see it? Look at that. I'm going to take this, remove this from out of here. I'm not going to go shred it in here. It's about to fall apart. I'm gonna put it in a dish and then I'm gonna pull this pork. All the seasonings are so tender. And we're gonna put some barbecue on it. We'll be back. Okay, so I went in and I already started pulling the fat off. I wanna show you what I did. I just went in with my spoons that I took this out. I removed this from the crock pot with these two spoons and I'm pulling this fat off. 
So now I got my two forks and I'm just going in and just pulling, shredding it apart with the forks. Look at all that seasoning up there. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'll finish shredding this up. This is our pulled pork that I'm going to be putting some barbecue on, y'all. I gave my daughter some and I saved some without putting barbecue on it because it tastes so good without the barbecue sauce. So I saved some to the side. Um, you also don't, if you don't want to barbecue it, you can just make you a slurry with some cornstarch, one part cornstarch, one part water, and add that in and that'll thicken up that gravy and it just tastes so good just like it was without the barbecue but right here as you can see i'm adding some apple cider vinegar i'm going to add some mustard and i'm going to add some barbecue sauce and i'm going to mix it up and it's going to be delicious the ingredients will be in the description box below So with this plate, we have some baked beans and we got grilled pork on the side. And this is how my husband wants to eat his. Just the beans and the pork and rice. Y'all know we from the South, we some rice eating people. This is how I chose to eat mine, y'all. I just had the traditional pulled pork sandwich with some coleslaw and it was delicious. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button, guys. If you want to see more delicious, easy recipes, hit the subscribe button below. And also, turn on your notification bell so that you'll know every time I upload a video. Thank you so much for joining me today. Have a blessed and beautiful day. Don't forget to spread love all around and put God first in everything you do.